take a deep breath in and as you breathe in breathe in a wonderful feeling of calm and relaxation and as you exhale just allow any feelings of worry or stress or tension or anxiety to melt away and to leave your body in your outward breath enabling you to feel like you can relax deeper and deeper simply by breathing in and breathing out enabling you to access a wonderful feeling of tranquility and serenity as you breathe in and out Notice where in your body there's any echoes of tension or stress. And just set the intention of allowing that tension to be released. To feel like now is the time to let go. And you could help that along by simply tensing whatever muscles in your body feel tense anyway, making them even more tense than they were before, holding on to that tension, breathing in and then on that outward breath, letting go of that tension, feeling that you can release that tension and in doing so, You release the new tension and the old tension, enabling you to feel deeper and deeper relaxed. I want you to use the power of your imagination to think of the Roman Empire. And one of the things that made the Roman Empire so successful was their innovative use of the shield. That just a single warrior with a shield was still vulnerable. But collectively, they could position all of those shields together to be impenetrable. I want you to get a sense that perhaps as a child there were stories or words or even experiences that meant that you didn't feel safe. And maybe Maybe for many years, you've been using a shield to keep you safe. That shield has kept you safe, but also acted as a barrier to keep people distant, to make it hard for people to truly get to know you. And every now and then, only if you felt that you could, you chose to lower that shield, to allow someone to get close. Breathe in and breathe out. And I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine You're back in the history of Roman times, holding that big, heavy shield. And sometimes you needed that heavy shield. And I want you to think of those times, perhaps with certain people or certain situations, that you needed that shield to keep you safe. But then there's other times where you kept holding onto the shield 
even though it was weighing you down, even though it got in the way of true connection. And I want you to think of a time in the past where you held on to that shield and it wasn't necessary. Maybe you can picture that person's face. And I want you to use your own intuition to be intuitively and discerningly vulnerable. That when you think about your life, you can think there was a time to keep your shield raised and there was a time to lower your shield. And I wonder... I wonder what would have happened in the past if you made that discerning, intuitive decision that it was okay to lower that shield. And imagine holding that heavy shield in your hands and your arms and you making the choice to lower that heavy shield. And as you feel it being placed on the ground, you feel lighter. But you also acknowledge you choosing to lower your shield is not an act of weakness, but an act of strength. Because choosing to be vulnerable means that you believe you have the resilience in other areas of your life. Allow your unconscious mind to choose vulnerability where suitable to create stronger connections, more intimacy, more trust, allowing the right person or people to get close, allowing more real, more intense emotions, but also acknowledging, acknowledging that that vulnerability means that you need to evaluate when and where you can be vulnerable. And there's a species of crab called the hermit crab. And they don't have any shells of their own. So they have to find an old shell. Maybe of a creature that has died many years ago. And they use that shell as their home, as their protection, as their safety. But it reaches a point where they outgrow the shell and they need to leave the shell in order to find a new shell. They are vulnerable. But without choosing to be vulnerable, they would be stifled by the small old shell of the past. You are not the person you were when you were a child. You're not the same person you are as an adolescent. As a young adult, you've changed many times throughout your life. So allow yourself to acknowledge that you don't need the old shells of the past because you have evolved to be stronger, more capable, more trusting of yourself than ever before. So breathe in and breathe out and feel like you can let go of the resentment, the judgments, the pressures of the past, but also some of the beliefs that you formed as a child that are no longer serving you. Just like that heavy shield, you can let them all go. 
one by one or all at the same time, just acknowledge that it's time to move on. And just like that crab leaving one shell for a new larger shell, feel that this is the right time to let go of things in the past. And notice how much lighter you feel. That you're looking forward to a future without the burden, without the restriction. A future where you can trust in your own judgment and choose to be vulnerable because it enhances the quality of your life. So imagine a place in nature, a place where you can feel safe, calm and relaxed. And as you begin to relax, you may find a curiosity blossoming about the soft shades of trust that can be cultivated with the right person. And just as a drawbridge lowers smooth and easy at the right time your readiness to share your world could unfold naturally with someone deserving you might find a gentle wisdom in recognizing the strength of a person worthy of your trust someone mentally robust emotionally stable and psychologically aware and isn't it a beautiful possibility that your heart's drawbridge lowers selectively guided by intuition's clear voice you may notice with a tranquil certainty your ability to distinguish a kindred spirit, someone with whom laughter echoes and thoughts intertwine. And the mind, vast and wonderful, knows the profound strength rooted in choosing vulnerability, opening doorways to deeper connections. And maybe you can use that power of your imagination to picture a relationship blossoming free of desperate clutches but filled with mutual appreciation, authentic laughs and soft trust. And as your heart's drawbridge lowers for the right person, what joy what profound connections might unfold like a story written with thoughtful ink and maybe in the quiet whispers of your thoughts a knowing blooms that vulnerability when gifted to the worthy is a powerful testament to your inner strength Breathe in and breathe out, letting go of any resentment of the past, feeling that you're becoming stronger, more positive, more open. And you might begin to notice the ease with which your words flow with the right person. Like a gentle stream finding its way through the soft embrace of understanding. No relationship is guaranteed. There isn't a relationship in the entire existence of humanity that has lasted forever. So allow the thought of anything not working out morph into a calm acceptance, knowing that life, a skilled matchmaker, 
as a way of leading you towards vibrant, caring souls. And you can imagine a companionship that allows the fragrance of authentic emotions to waft through, where being you is as natural as the gentle fall of autumn leaves. And maybe you could imagine a relationship like that. And in every genuine laugh shared, every authentic emotion expressed, isn't there a wonderful display of your worth, your significance? Maybe every shared silence, every tender word exchanged, will be a reminder of the value you bring to a worthy relationship. As days turn into weeks and time moves on, you might find your ability to be selectively vulnerable refining, a soft sign of your evolving trust and growing self-assurance. And as you begin to embrace the wholesome idea of selective vulnerability, you'll find a comforting assurance growing within. Perhaps every tender emotion shared with the deserving will weave a thread of trust, creating a fabric of companionship rich with respect, laughter and understanding. Because your subconscious mind is vast and wise, it understands the beautiful, resilient structure of vulnerability, the selective lowering of drawbridges and shields, leading to gardens of shared dreams. And in the calm tapestry of trust, you may find the courage to embrace vulnerability as a path to a deeper, enriching companionship. And what if each step forward on this path of selective vulnerability unveils a horizon where being yourself is the key to meaningful connections, painting your life with the hues of mutual respect, understanding, and authentic love. And I want you to imagine a future, perhaps a year or two, there in the future of being selectively vulnerable. Has it led to a meaningful, powerful, enjoyable relationship? So see that future version of you living a life benefiting from having lowered your shield, embraced vulnerability as a strength, and trusted, trusted that your resilience means that whatever happens, you will benefit. You will benefit in many ways, but mainly from the richness of a life that you deserve. As you breathe in and breathe out, feel like you're returning to the present, keeping your shield lowered, knowing you can raise it whenever you need to, feeling that you are integrating in the moment having let go of the resentment and unuseful beliefs of the past, feeling strong, vulnerable, and optimistic about the future. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Just wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, feeling connected into the present here and now. That's it. As I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, optimistic, 
with a sense that the universe is now conspiring to assist you. Starting to count. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake.